Lyme disease is a bacterial infection that's spread by the bite of the deer tick. In the late 70s, there was what we call a case cluster where a bunch of children were developing mostly symptoms of knee pain. And not just knee pain, but their knees were like swollen and red and, and filled with fluid. And doctors at the time thought that they could have a disease called juvenile rheumatoid arthritis. However, that disease is, is pretty unusual. And when they started to see so many kids in a relatively concentrated area, which happened to be you know, around Lyme, Connecticut, that's how the disease got its name. There's quite a bit of common symptoms, including things like fever, chills, aches in the muscles or in the joints, swollen glands. And obviously those can happen in a great number of diseases, including things that are on the minds of people right now, like COVID-19. Um, it can also have some more Lyme-specific manifestations. Many people have heard about the classic bullseye rash, or it can involve the nerves, the heart, or the joint spaces. It's very hard to self-diagnose Lyme unless you see like a very classic rash, like that classic bullseye rash, but that's actually seen in only about one in 10 patients who even uh, recognize the rash. Lyme is typically broken down clinically into three stages of infection, and the last stage is called late disseminated Lyme, and that can actually show up years after you get the initial tick bite in the infection. And that can be, for some people, the first time you actually manifest any symptoms of Lyme disease. But I think the best way for people to prevent the disease is first to not be exposed to tick bites as much as possible. You know, if you are going outside to kind of stay away from like high risk areas like leaf piles, piles of wood chips, things like that. Usually ticks get picked up during the summertime. If you're able to wear long sleeves and pants, that's, that's helpful in preventing Lyme disease. If you can't do that, you know, I would recommend someone putting on a 30 to 40 percent by volume DEET product, whether it be like an ointment or a spray, like on their like forearms or upper arms if they're exposed, and like your ankles, feet and legs if those are exposed. If you're going to be outside for a very long time doing a lot of gardening, you can actually get your clothes treated with a product called permethrin. Ideally with the help of a friend or family member, you can do a tick check where you carefully look over your skin, especially parts of the body where ticks are prone to attach, like in the armpits and in the belt line and in the groin. About 10% of people continue to have some symptoms that linger. Common things are like difficulty concentrating and aches um, in the muscles and things like that. Fatigue is very common. These typically don't last forever. The vast majority of people uh, with antibacterial therapy are cured and get better quite quickly. You know, a lot of people are nervous to get in touch with their doctors or go in to see their doctors right now. And a lot of people with basically anything with a fever could be like quick to jump to the conclusion that they have coronavirus. That's why it's important to talk to physicians because there may be clues in your symptomatology or on your physical exam that we might be dealing with Lyme disease, which definitely should be treated.